dugsiga board ka iyo maalinlaha ah ee amano amano boarding and day school assalamu alaikum smith jahsain welcome back class again ramadan kareem today we will keep on revising the chapters because we have finished the whole course so we will keep on revising the chapters now we'll see in revise chapter 7 which is about which is about soil we did this way back in, in in december right in december but we will do it again because it is very important right it's very important okay let's see so we'll start we will start with the soil erosion so what soil erosion first soil erosion Soil erosion is the removal of the top fertile soil from one place to another. The top fertile soil. Fertile soil means the productive part of the soil that helps the plants and vegetables to grow, right? To grow. It helps to grow. And so that's the top part, the top layer of the soil. So the removal of that top layer of the soil from the top of the surface by different things, as we will see in the next slides, is called soil erosion. That's what soil erosion is, right? That's what soil erosion is. Okay. That's what soil erosion. So, there are some factors that help the removal of the top fertile soil from one place to another. And these are, uh, these are called what? Agents of soil erosion. There are some things some things that are present in our environment that help the soil erosion to take place. These things that help the soil erosion to take place is called agents of soil erosion. Agents of soil erosion, right? Agents. Some of the agents of soil erosion include wind, water, animals, and others. But these are the most important ones. And we will see in details the first two, wind and water. So these are the agents that help the soil erosion to, the soil erosion to take place. These are the things that help the soil erosion take place. So let's see them one by one. Okay. So wind. When land is bare, bare means it does not have what? Vegetation cover. Vegetation cover means there is nothing on the, on, on the ground. There are no plants, there is no vegetables, there are no herbs, and most of these small plants. So it's bare, it's naked. There are not, nothing on the earth. So when it's um, um, pear and dry, the strong winds blowing, blowing over it carry away the top fertile soil. If there is nothing to protect on the surface of the earth and it's pear, and, some, and at the same time it's dry, it's not weathered, it's not red, rain time. Because when, when it is wet and it, and it has received some rainfall, it's quite stick together and, it's, and maybe the blowing wind may not be able to split them apart and take them away. But when it is dry, at the same time pale and there's no vegetation cover, the strong winds that are blowing over the, that uh, area will carry away the top fertile soil. Then what happens? This decreases the depth of the fertile soil available for the plants to grow. The, for the plants to grow, they need certain depth for the the roots to penetrate into right and to absorb water from so if that top fertile soil is blown away the remaining part of the earth will be thin and it will not be enough to sustain the life of the young plant and then it will not survive to grow it will not survive to grow okay in desert for example the strong winds carry sand and deposit it on for on fertile fields um, therefore covering the top fertile soil. Okay, if, if we have uh, maybe desert around and there are fields around it, around it, the wind blowing over the fast desert, desert will take the sand from the desert and it will spread that sand over the, uh, over the fields. And it builds up and there builds up um, something called sand dunes, sand dunes, heaps and piles of sand on top of one another, layers. This covering of sand reduces the fertility of the, uh, the fertility, the fertility of the soil, resulting the mixture of the soils, right? The fertility of the resulting mixture of soils. So there results a mixture of soils, sand, uh, loamy soil, clay soil, which is good for growing, and then when it mixes it with sand, then it will reduce what? The capacity of the soil to be productive, to be fertile. Another 
main agent of soil erosion is water. This can be in the form of rain or flowing water. This can be in the, in the, in the form of rain or flowing water. Okay, let's start with rain. When rain falls, when it starts raining, the water droplets hit the ground and disp and disperse the soil particles. When it rains and it rains very he heavily, very heavily, there are heavy downpours. That uh, strong water droplets coming from the rain will hit the, uh, the the earth, and when they hit, they split the soil particles apart. They split the soil particles apart. Okay, rainwater collects and starts flowing. Yes, and then that collecting rainwater and flowing will the flowing water washes off the top fertile top broken fertile soil now we said that when it hits the ground it splits the soil particles when the soil particles are split and the water is start moving the moving water will carry away the top fertile soil right the top fertile soil okay this soil gets into rivers and may up in the seas lake or or silt up in the rivers where they are not needed yeah but they are not needed. So, flowing water. Flowing water in the streams and rivers will away the surface of the high and sloping areas, removing and carrying the top fertile soil. For example, if there is a stream or a river coming from, from a sloping, from a, uh, coming from top down the slope of a mountain or a sloping uh, land, it will wash away the, the, all the soil that's on its way that's on its way right okay so these are other factors that increase soil erosion the following factors increase the soil erosion type of the soil yes yes some of the soils are very fragile and very uh, um, um, prone to be to be subjected to erosion right so for example loose soil is easily eroded if the soil is loose it will be easy to erode it slopes okay the steeper the slope the faster and greater the slope if the land is flat the erosion may not be that uh, th that big problem but if the, um, the land we're talking about is, is sloping a steep slope for example the, if uh, it's that's that it's it's prone and it's at risk to experience uh, soil erosion right soil erosion okay lack of vegetation as have, as you have said earlier or if there's no vegetation cover and the land is spare it is very fragile and prone to be subjected to erosion amount of rainfall if, if it rains very heavily if there is very heavy rainfall it will wash away the top fertile soil human activities human activities like over cultivation over grazing of cultivation means when you cultivate in a certain given piece of land over and over again over grazing for example you have a small a small plot of land and you bring too many animals to graze them then it will break up the soil particles deforestation which is the cutting down of trees also um, makes the um, the soil to be at risk for um, erosion all this increase the rate the speed of soil